Today we're going to learn about slide tessellations. So remember from reading toads and tessellations, we learned that a tessellation is a repeated pattern um, that fits together with no gaps. So we're going to be making ours today with slides, which is one of the moves in geometry, in rotational geometry. So you're going to take an index card. You're going to fold the corner into a right triangle. And then you're going to cut off this extra rectangle. Okay, you can discard that piece. And now you're left with a square. Now, if your index card does not have stripes, you can just take your pen or a marker or whatever and just quickly draw some lines on one side because you want to differentiate between the front and the back. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to take what's called a nibble. And a nibble is going to go from corner to corner, and you're going to cut out any shape. So let's say I go from this corner, maybe I do some curves, and I go to the next corner. Okay, so now you can see where I've taken a nibble out of there. You're going to get a piece of tape, just a little small piece at first. And you're going to take this and you're going, the piece you just nibbled off, and you're going to slide it straight across so it matches up with the straight edge on the other side. And you're going to put your piece of tape down. You can probably take a, another little piece just so it doesn't move. Like this. Then you're going to take another one of the sides, either one of the straight edges, and you're going to do a nibble from edge to edge. So let's see, this time, maybe I want to make it more triangle shapes, and I'm going to go all the way to that corner. Okay, and then the same thing, I'm going to slide it directly across. Now make sure you're not flipping it, okay? You want to slide it so it's exactly opposite of where you cut it. So you're going to slide it across. Match it up with the straight edge. Put your piece of tape down. Just like this. Okay, so now you have your tessellation piece. And I'm thinking, what in the world is that? I can't quite tell. So you're going to get your paper. Okay, and on your paper, I like to just start off in the middle. I'm going to use my striped side to make it easier to see. So I'm just going to put it in the middle of my paper. And I'm going to use a pen just so that you can see it. And I'm going to trace the piece I just made, my slide tessellation. Okay, so I've traced my slide tessellation. And now, remember, a tessellation um, is a repeated pattern. So because this is a slide tessellation, I'm going to now slide. I'm not going to flip it. I'm not going to turn it. I'm going to slide to see where it fits next. Oh, look. So this fits right here. So I'm going to trace that. Okay, so when I move it, you can see it fit right there. And then I'm going to say, oh, look, the next piece fits here. I'm going to do the same thing till my entire paper is covered. So you might need a partner to help you hold your piece still because you don't want it to move. And I continue to just move it and slide it all over my page. Remember, I'm not turning it. So now that I have it, now I have to figure out, well, what does that look like? So I might want to start turning my paper just to see if sometimes if we turn our paper, we can see certain things that maybe we couldn't see before. Hmm. I'm 
almost seeing a person here with kind of a long pointy nose. So maybe if I put an eye right here, oh, or maybe it looks like a chicken or a rooster with the top like that. And this could be part of the beak. So then whatever I do here, I need to repeat on all my shapes. Okay, so now you can see I have oops, the same shape. Maybe this is the bottom of an eye up here. And then I'm gonna color each one of these different colors so it makes a pattern, just like we saw. Hmm, that's interesting. It either could look maybe like a chicken or it could look like a person with have kind of like spiky hair. So I can make it into whatever I want because this kind of looks like a nose or it could be a beak depending. But it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna then go ahead and color in a pattern different shades of this same picture. All right, so I can't wait to see what you come up with.